What is up everybody? As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're talking about what I carry around in my pockets. I don't like to have bulky pockets, so uh, if you're looking for super complex EDC with a bunch of things like pocket knives, uh, I don't know, torches and stuff, that's not gonna be uh, well, what I carry around. Because like I said, I don't have super slim things. I don't like to have bulky pockets. So I carry around anywhere from three to six items in my pockets, three at all times and the other three sometimes. So obviously the three first items are the ones that I just cannot live without. They are my phone, which is the iPhone 13 Pro, and the AirPods Pros, as well as my keys. So I haven't upgraded from the iPhone 13 Pro to the 14 or 14 Pro yet. Honestly, the only reason why I would is for YouTube. I think that the iPhone 13 Pro is still a really, really solid phone, so I haven't upgraded yet. I still really, really love the cameras on there. Obviously the new 14 Pro, the cameras look amazing, which is something that, you know, is making me think of upgrading. However, for the moment, I use my camera most of the time for taking pictures, so I don't need to upgrade. The battery life has also been fantastic. Um, let me know in the comments, by the way, if you'd like me to do a long-term review of this phone, or if I think that it's still worth it now. Like maybe should you upgrade to the 13 Pro or directly to the 14 or 14 Pro. And on that phone, I am running the Mag Easy Case 2 by Pitaka. They sent this over a bunch of videos ago and it was for a sponsored deal. However, I've been loving the case, so I just kept it on there. I've never been a case guy myself. I've never had cases on my phone. However, you know, they do scratch and it is kind of sad to see. However, I found that this case is fantastic because it's super slim and also the Magazy uh, on there is a lot stronger than Apple's uh, technology. So I found that to be super nice. If you're a fan of MagSafe uh, tools, accessories, definitely look into their cases. Their magnets are super strong. And by the way, I did start to work on new cool wallpapers. I hope to get them out pretty soon. So go follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll let everyone know that I released them. I've also been uh, filming a bit more reels and stuff. so. Hopefully that'll be interesting for you guys and don't hesitate to message me. I've had a bunch of people message me uh, all the time and it's super fun to meet with you guys. Uh, so go check me out on Instagram where I'll drop these wallpapers once they're done. And that brings me to the next essential, which is my wallet, obviously. And I tend to switch between two wallets. So I have one that Pitaka sent me, which is a super slim card holder. It can hold up to three cards, I would say, in there. And if I have, you know, slimmer pants or something, I'll take this one with me with only the cards that I absolutely need. However, most of the time now, I have to carry a bit more things. And I use this one that I've had for a while. And it is made by uh, Rutsack. So it's a company that does a lot of uh, leather stuff. And I've been enjoying it. I've had this one for a while, like I said, probably like four years, I would say. And it's still a super slim wallet. However, it's not as slim as the other one which is why I switch every now and then. And because I don't have any bulky wallets, I do have more cards. However, I keep a second wallet, or well, third wallet actually, in my backpack with the rest of my cards. So, you know, if a store gives you like a card to gather points and stuff, I'll just slap it in my backpack. And that's where these cards live. And another item that I like to split into two separate uh, items are my keys. I hate having a lot of keys in my pockets. I hate having them in my car as well. I have a car where I do need to put the key in the ignition. So that means that if I have a bunch of keys, they're dangling around and it's super annoying. So uh, what I did is I just have my car key and then my house key. And well, I had another set of keys in my backpack with an air tag on it where I had all of the rest of my keys. So uh, the key to my job, my mail key, and a bunch of the keys for like bike racks and stuff. And that was good because it meant that, well, first I was able to track them if I forgot them or if I lost them. And it also allowed me to track my bag. However, because when I'm at my job, I do go in and out quite often. I put the tag in my pocket and then I just ended up losing it. So now it is with the keys that I do have in my pockets. It adds a bit of weight. Well, not weight, but it adds, it takes a bit more space, but that's okay. Because I can keep losing the, those keys, you know? And then the last and final item are the iPods Pro. I just love these. Uh, if you've been on this channel for a while, you'll see that my AirPods and my phone, I just love them and I use them every single day, uh, probably for hours and hours every day. I do listen to a lot of uh, audiobooks, podcasts, and music. I've been using Apple Music lately instead of Spotify. I find that it sounds a bit better with the AirPods. However, I don't know if that's just me or if that's actually a thing. But even if I'm at the gym, having a noise cancellation and all that is fantastic when I'm at work trying to focus. Once again, noise cancelling, I just love it. So these three items are always, always, always in my pockets. And then the next three items are items that aren't always in my pockets, but they are most of the time. 
The first one is a good notebook. Of course, I'm talking about a pocket notebook, not one of those larger ones that I also use every day. Um, so the one I've been carrying around is the smaller ones by uh, Orbit Key, and I really, really love them. Um, I like the way that they are separated as well. So when you open them up, on the one side you have a place for your to-dos, and on the other side a place to write down notes and draw things and stuff with the little dotted grid. And the reason why I carry one of these in my pockets is because if I just have a small thing uh, pop in my mind, I'll just write it down so I don't forget it. And it's also nice to have your to-do list with you at all times. I do also use um, digital to-do lists. However, I find that using a notebook with your digital tools helps a lot. Just because it's easier, there's less friction to just write down things in a notebook. Also, you're less likely to get distracted. So that's why I carry one of these around. Another really cool feature of this specific one is that if you go at the back, well, first you'll see you have a small pocket, um, but you have a few pages, I believe five pages, where you can rip them off and just take them with you. So maybe if you have a grocery list or something, that would be super helpful. However, I have to say that these are a bit expensive. I bought mine for just under $10, which is about $7.30 US. Uh, I bought mine in Canadian, uh, but anyways, so they are a bit pricey. I thought they came in a pack of three, but that's not the case. However, I do have to mention that the paper itself is really nice. It's made out of recycled paper and the build quality is a lot nicer than let's say uh, other notebooks like Field Notes. And I've had those for a while as well. I think they look super, super cool. And they were a lot cheaper at, uh, I believe about $15 for a pack of three. So have the price exactly. Another brand I really liked was uh, Moleskine and I always used to get my notebooks with uh, dotted grids because I find it super useful when I'm just jotting down ideas, lists, or you know, if I'm just sketching an idea for a new project. And I think to note about the Orbit Key Pocket Notebook is that the paper is really nice and it absorbs ink really well, which is nice if like me you do enjoy um, nice pens, like fountain pens especially because you know that if you have a cheap paper, well, it'll just kind of bleed everywhere and it's really annoying to use. And the next item that I carry around with me is a pen. However, I cannot carry around a fountain pen. Well, you could if you're really, you know, passionate, but I don't because it's not as convenient as a ballpoint. One of the main reasons why is because uh, let's say I have to take out my pen to write on a, maybe I have to sign a receipt or something. Receipt paper, it won't work with a fountain pen. And also, you know, sometimes you have to let the paper dry and all that, so it's not as convenient. If it's in my, my pocket and it ends up bleeding everywhere, it'll be really annoying to clean off. If it breaks, once again, super annoying. So the pen that I carry around is this small pen by Cross. It is an absolute classic. It is the Cross Sentry. And I have a cool story about this one. I used to have one for, I believe I had it for like three or four years. Always in my pocket. I used to open up boxes and stuff with it. They're absolutely, like, they're pretty solid. They won't break. And I sadly lost it and I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's in my old car that I sold about six months ago and I was kind of sad obviously and I didn't want to just you know, go to the store and buy another one right away because I do have a lot of other pens. But my girlfriend decided to buy me a replacement for uh, Valentine's Day which I thought was super nice. So now this pen holds a bit of a story and it reminds me of my girlfriend every time I write with it. It's another reason why I carry this one in my pocket I believe. And like most uh, rollerball or ballpoint pens that are you know not like a big that we just throw away you can just replace the cartridge inside once uh, once it's emptied out and the cartridge that i like to use is the medium or the small i don't like broader nibs i don't find them really uh, fun to write with i know that they're usually a bit smoother however i like a smaller nib i also find it really nice for drawing because it's a bit more precise and then the last and final item is a pack of gum i have these everywhere i have sometimes one in my pocket i always have one in my bag one in my car I have a few in my desk as well and the reason why is because well I have a ADHD and I find it's, it helps me a lot to focus when I'm chewing gum I think it just gets my brain uh, to work a bit more and that kind of brought me a problem which is I'm chewing a ton of gum every day so of course it's not good for my teeth it's not good for your health in general there's usually aspartame and a lot of sugars uh, in gum and the, the gum that I carry around now is uh, 3 by Pure Pure is a uh, German brand, I believe, and three is their like higher end uh, brand. And they call it three because it only has three ingredients, which do not include aspartame and sugar, which is why I bought these. So it is, well, I wouldn't say it's healthier, but it's less bad for your health, if that makes sense. So the only three ingredients are uh, natural flavors, xythol and gum base, whatever that is. And uh, if you do a bit of research on xythol, um, there are 
a lot of studies that say it might help with your teeth with your mouth in general actually the health of your mouth and it is actually an ingredient that you'll find quite often in uh, toothpaste obviously being that these are like you know supernatural only have three ingredients and all of that they aren't like they won't taste as strong as uh, other brands like XL for example but I find it just because I you know I chew so much I find it's a good trade-off regardless and it tastes is still fantastic the one that I uh, chew is called winter green and I, I frankly love them so that was it for my super minimal uh, everyday carry the things that I are in my pockets of course I do carry around more stuff uh, in general and I did make a video of my extended uh, everyday carry if you will which included a bit more stuff if you want to go check out that video I'll leave a link up there and in the description below have a fantastic day